lips to glass. You lips to glass. Facts. So have you. Facts. <laughs> it's the sensory overload. Like people don't understand sensory overload unless you have sensory overload. You made me pay fifty pounds for a double espresso. <laughs> we love the gooch. The set that I wanted, but I'm looking at it now. We've had about 15 espressos on an empty stomach. Learning to appreciate living in the moment. Okay, so we're checking out of our hotel in Portofino. Honestly, we're all so sad because this, I think this was the best part of our holiday. Absolutely. Portofino was a vibe. We met so many cool people. Check passports. Last check, guys. last check, yeah, always the last check. <laughs> Most important is the passport. Yeah. Passport's here. I have mine. Right. Great, let's go. Yeah. Have you been in Portofino? Yeah. yeah. It was so, so nice. nice. Lovely, yeah? Honestly. Yeah. Just got to Milan. Don't ask me why I'm still wearing the same sweatshirt that I've been wearing all week. It's because I only packed one sweatshirt because I was under the impression that it was going to be so hot and sunny and I was, but like, I'm an idiot. Also, yeah, weight allowance was a bit, okay, anyways, we're rambling. Rambling or rambling. Um, touchdown in Milan, and we just came out for a quick stroll just to get some clothes. Obviously, I need a new sweatshirt or a jumper, something. And I just realized walking around, if I lived in Europe, I definitely think I would be wearing more high street than I do designer clothes because the stores here are killing it. We're in Mango right now, and they have so many cute things. I'm like, I'm wasting my damn money buying stupid shit when there's so many nice things that are high street. I want to wear this to the pool. Her outfit. It's giving mom. First stop, dinner. We have to eat, we're hungry. So we came to San Ambrose. San, how do I spell it? San Ambrose, Ambrose. Me, I'm uncultured. Um, but wow, the pastries here look unreal. I'm just gonna stock up on some of these for when we get back to the hotel. I have to take these home for my mum. She loves orange chocolate rhymes. Wow. Look how cute this is. Look at the rose. Meet lemon soda right now. And I'll get wine. Oh, let's, uh, let's see what I've got. I should buy the glass. The wine's out. Where's the wine? Sorry. Sorry. The wine is. <laughs> The food, the phone eats before we eat. Absolutely. So we've got a little um, amuse bouche. <laughs> the what? <laughs> amuse, amuse, amuse bouche. Amuse. Uh, babe. A bouche. Right. Babe. It's a bouche. It's a, it's a little um, canapé with zucchini, mayo, and a little corn. Gambaroni. 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 Cheers. Cheers, Cheers, sluts. I'm oh, so sorry. Happy, so happy yeah. to be in Milan. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, drink straws. Wait, why is that so good? Huh? No one gives us straws here. Mm, make love to the glass. We're not trying to lips the glass or the last person that was drinking from Thank the glass. You. <laughs> you lips the glass. You lips the glass. Facts. <laughs> but so have you. Facts. That was so good. Yeah. When in Rome, do as a Roman, which means order Italian wine when you're in Italy. We've got an artichoke salad. Love artichoke. Mmm. Caesar salad with a really delicious looking anchovy. I just love bread. Okay, I'm always on a mission whenever I'm in Italy to find the best spaghetti pomodoro. This looks promising. It's apparently made with San Marzano tomatoes. I love it. This looks ridiculous, but we're unsure whether there is bacon in this because traditionally there is like pork in bolognese, so have it. And then we've got the linguine with Everything looks so good. I can't wait to eat this. Not me being a content creator. Jesus Christ. You're doing the most. You can do more than me. actually doing like the most this trip. Oh, I'm wow. I've done the least. No, I'm so proud of you. The content being banging. I'm trying. You know. Mm. I just want to eat good. 
right. so happy. Bon appetit slice. Bon appetit. Oh wait, what is it? Bone apple teeth. Bone apple teeth. In what language? <laughs> oh dear. We finished our dinner. We just came to. Wait, what, where are we? This is Gallo. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go to a prayer. Come on. Um. Okay. But now we're going to church to pray because it's Sunday. God or ice cream? To to, up to you. I say ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> not, not the God, God or, or ice, ice cream. cream. I mean, we can go pray to God tomorrow. We gotta get our gelato. Oh, you guys, I'm dying for it to be honest. I'm gonna Let's take a cute selfie. How. how do we even get here? God knows. <laughs> I guys woke up and I was like, we on. Woke up in Milan. Yeah, no, okay. Let's it was. Just um, stay Let's stay in Milan. Let's stay in Milan. I think just, I. Yeah. Now we're gonna go and get some Venki or Grom, depending on which has the shortest line, because you guys already know I am an impatient bitch. I don't like waiting for nothing or no one. Scoozy. I still don't see the Starbucks. They have trams. Oh no. Okay, so we managed to get to a venue. Everything is pretty much sold out. It's packed because it's currently raining. There's a thunderstorm warning until the next hour, which is a bit disappointing. Like the ground is wet. It's stressing me out. I'm with friends, but I'm getting stressed because there's a lot of sound, noise, smells. It's just a sensory overload. Like people don't understand sensory overload unless you have sensory overload issues. It's a lot. This is why I stay home. This is why I don't go anywhere. I'm just like, to be honest, when I talk to my camera, I feel like nobody's watching. Even if they are, it's fine. I'm just talking to you. Guys, and I feel fine. Just standing in the corner here with the cameras, maybe. We're walking to Hermes. We're gonna try our luck. Lol. Oh, everyone said just come down. Oh, this is giving um, Bond Street. Yeah, I love it. I love a good city shop. First stop, Hermes. Second stop, Laura Piana. Then we ew, there's sh actual shit on the floor. Ew. Now I'm gonna be extra vigilant about where I step. Because, <laughs> um, really and truly, I have the worst luck. As you know, we're starting to say positive. I have the best luck. I am a lucky girl. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. Is anyone else getting Bond Street from this? <laughs> So cute. So we went shopping. I went to Valentino, I went to Lauro, we did Hermes, and now we are at a place called Il Salu Mayo. Honestly, wouldn't recommend. It wasn't great. I mean, look at that steak. It's a sad looking steak. And the chicken? Chicken is giving unseasoned and dry. Um, beef carpaccio is alright. I mean, how can you mess up? Outfit of the day, the top is. I forgot, but I'll link it. Bag is Mini Kelly. I hate these bags, but like it matches my outfit, so you know. I'm wearing a petite little skirt, and then my Chanel black and white tweed sling bags. Love them. They're so great. I do need to go take pictures of my outfit. Oh, actually, since we're here, do you want to do my pictures? The light was really bad over there. Let me try here for you. It's a Disarono and Coke, babe. Why am I like shaking? What Elisa happened? and I walk into every single no, I'm rest, literally getting in the every dishes. single hotel, and we're like, every, I'm every single store we go into, we're like, yes, espresso, please, espresso, please, espresso. We had like 15 espressos. We've had about 15 espressos so. on an empty stomach. I'm shaking. I'm living for this high. Here's my makeup stayed on. Does anyone else who's had a nose job feel like their makeup on their nose does not stay on? Like it just starts separating? Okay, so we're in the Gucci store. I love a bit of Gucci in Italy. We love the Gucci. <laughs> I'm surprised she even knows what that is. You told me what that is. They probably don't even say that word because it's you. Not your gooch, babe. Not the gooch. <laughs> <laughs> you got some good uchi? I got some good coochie. <laughs> Capital C. <laughs> Capital C for coochie, but Uchi, wearing wala, gucci. Wala. I honestly love that mini jacket. I wear it like almost every day in Dubai. Mm. Don't wear it so much in Europe because the closure is not giving safe. <laughs> if I wear it around my shoulder. If I wear it on my shoulder, it's like someone could just slip their hand in. 
Honestly, the Gucci sofas here, wow. If you come to Milan, just come just, just come to the Gucci store just to sit on these sofas because they're flawless. Friend lost her stuff and she got it back and she goes, I'm so glad, Abdullah. I'm like, I think you mean Alhamdulillah. And she's like, try. yeah. I'm trying to be inclusive of my friend's religion, okay? So I love I'm that for Roman you, Catholic, Abdullah. So. <laughs> I'm Roman Catholic, Abdullah. Abdullah, inshallah. Five guys? I, have, oh, I yeah. smell weed. Guys, Weed Light is available in Milan. It's legal. It's uh, just CBD, it's no THC. There's like 0.5% THC, but... This is the Galleria, we're gonna head home. And then we are going to a restaurant called Giacomo for dinner tonight, which has the most beautiful, insane views of the Domo. Duomo, Domo. You know, the, the building. Is it a cathedral? Yes, darling. The cathedral. No, we're not in London. We're still in Milan. I just woke up about two minutes ago, drew on my eyebrows, and now we're gonna go just do a little walkie around um, before we leave for the airport. We are leaving today, which is sad, but I just wanna have a quick walk around. To be honest, we haven't really explored much of Milan. The whole day yesterday, we were on Monte Napoleone. <laughs> not me butchering and attempting to, you know, you know that street, the one with all the shops. We were just there. Oh, wow. I'm just the worst vlog. Oh, thank you so much, darling. That's so sweet of you. We missed out on all of this sightseeing and I've just not got any content. Own laziness, to be honest. But in all fairness, I'm now learning to appreciate living in the moment and I feel like I haven't done that in so long because I'm constantly vlogging. But for once, I'm like, no, I'm gonna enjoy my holiday and live the moment. I mean, I've been doing this every holiday. <laughs> but I also can't expect other people to do the content for me. You have to get tickets to no, surely not. Admission by lift. It's a church, you know. Surely you'd have to get. I think the entrance on the other side. Let's go around the front, then we'll go to gallery, have a coffee. Come Can on. I get a coffee first? And this is what I feel. Fine. Find an illy or something. Guys, so we start our morning off at Savini, which is in. I wish we went to Marchese now. My favorite piece of Mount Street. I just wanted an illy, babe. She's making pay 10 euros for There's a bloody no espresso. Um, where are we? What is this place called? Gallery. Gallery Vittorio Emanuel II. Sorry? Gallery Vittorio Emanuel II. It's a no, it's the first, it is the largest shopping mall in the world. This is the largest shopping mall in the world. Sorry, oldest. I haven't had my coffee yet. This is what happens, guys. You don't have your coffee. Honestly, I'm not so much a coffee in the morning kind of girl anymore. I've been, I'm so used to doing my little shots. I haven't had my morning shots in about 10 days now and I'm stressing because my stomach is not, it's not, it's not working the way it should be. Oh God, I really need to get a facial. I've been wearing makeup every day for the past, how long? 10 days we've been here. I need like a deep extraction, clean, and then a photo facial or like a laser. Nowhere What's in London does like, a... Yeah, have... I know my standards. I know the standards of facials in London and it's just, it's not it. I have to say how embarrassing it is when people are buying their blue tips on Instagram. It's like so obvious. How do you know? Because like all of a sudden people like pop up blue tips and it's like it's just so embarrassing. Like you're paying to be somebody, you're not. I don't even want a blue tip. Where are we going, honey? Gucci. You know what'd have been funny if I put my nose bandage on and walked around Italy? See people scratch. I mean they're already stare now. Oh yeah, people in Italy love to stare at us. I'm not sure why. We're gonna have so much fun. We're gonna give her a boat ride. Should we go to we actually Vista? We're gonna say we actually need to go down to the new spots in Richmond. Oh, there's a new spots. Oh my god, it's so cute. I'll but Richmond's a bit long. But it'll be a nice drive. Like, Should we gonna go horse bar. riding in Hyde Park? Okay, but look at Scott's Richmond on the sun. go horse riding. Yeah, this is not a little fucking rotten egg. It's just not giving ran over a rotten egg. I just paid for my 10 euro coffee. Actually, sorry, it might be 20 euros because it was a double. I, to I feel throw sick. up. I feel sick at the price. Is it possible for the damage? Ooh. Ooh. Don't tell me it's 50. Huh? 56. I feel sick. 
You're joking. You made me pay fifty pounds for a double espresso. <laughs> ah, this is the inside. And we're gonna go to Dior. I think I wanna buy another Lady Dijoy. Maybe. Oh shit. Excuse me, ma'am. How much is your outfit cost? Um. So. I'm not gonna do this right now because I'm literally going all Zara. So twenty dollars, twenty dollars. I don't know how much. Not Elise getting naked in the background. Um, so this is what I'm trying on. To you all, this is the set that I wanted, but I'm looking at it now together, and I'm not loving it. But I'm loving the color of the skirt. So I think I'm definitely gonna get the skirt. What do you think? I feel like you'd wear it a lot. Skirt with the mini. Pink micro lady do micro DJ. I'm so annoyed. I really wanted to love this set, but I don't. I really wanted the bright pink, but I have a bright pink. Oh, you did the name. Name little name tag. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Congratulations. Thank you. We're guys. down in London. We're currently driving through a place called Barking. I don't know if I mentioned this on our way there. I feel like I did, but maybe I didn't. I've never been to Stansted before in my life. This is my first time going to Stansted. And this is my first time being this far east. East of England? East of London. Far, yeah. This far out of zone one. I really don't get out much in London. I mean- We really do more. We only do north. We grew up in north. Oh, I went really close to Birmingham once. When? To drop off my friend's cat. Do you know? Oh, I wasn't there. I think we went beyond Birmingham, in fact. Um, yeah, and then we stopped off in Birmingham on the way back. It was just, just a wild car journey. Very long. I went to like the middle of England, which is like middle America to me. Finally seeing some buildings. Central London is on the right. I'm confused. 